Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Let me know how your week is going. It is like a year since we started lockdown, so it's a little crazy at this point. Anyway, today is my January empties. I am behind because I didn't film at all in February and I just, I really wanna get all of this stuff thrown out. So we're gonna start right off with the big one. This is the Tom's of Maine Wicked Fresh mouthwash. I really do like this one, and I do think Tom's is a really good company. I might start saving these again because they just accepted me to the Terra Recycle program, which I had a whole bunch of stuff saved, and then I threw it all out, and two weeks later they said, oh, welcome, after they told me that I wasn't accepted because it had too many people in it didn't know that they had a wait list. Anyway, so yes, I do recycle all of these once they are done. That's a good one. That's one that I've repurchased and I have one that I'm currently using. Next up is from, this is Freeman. I had to think for a second. This is an old one. This is Aroma Essentials Alpha Hydroxy Moisturizer. And I just used this as a body moisturizer because it was older and I didn't really want to use it on my face or anything. This is like, I got it at a discount grocery store. So it was like 99 cents. Used it up. It was fine. I. It's a really like, this is one of the early Alpha Hydroxy um, moisturizers that I knew about. So it was good. I'm glad that it's out though, because it's always good to use up older things. Next up is from pharmacy. This is the very cherry clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. And I had the original one of this and I got this one. I think I bought this one as a boxy pop-up or a boxy add on or something. I don't think it came in my boxy. It smells so good. It smells like a cherry ice cream. So if you like Cherry Garcia ice cream, it kind of smells like that. I really like this. This works really, really well. So this is definitely something that I will be interested in purchasing again because I just I really do like that um, product from Pharmacy. I kind of like Pharmacy as a brand itself. Like I feel like they have good products. From Kate Somerville, this is the Dermal Quench Liquid Lift Plus Retinol. It's an advanced resurfacing treatment and you, sh you shake it. You have to shake it a lot and then you would disperse it. I did not like this stuff at all. Not a fan at all. And part of it was the system of how it came out. Like it's just not, it didn't feel, I don't know, it was annoying and it lasted forever and I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for it to be used up. I was hoping that I was gonna finish it in 2020, but it stuck around to 2021. So I'm so glad, I'm so, so glad that it is gone because it's it's not something I ever want to use again. From Wish, this is, and this is the W-H-I-S-H, -H, not like the weird Chinese website. This is the Bourbon Vanilla Sugar Scrub. I got this as an add-on in FabFitFun. I got, I think this in a lotion. And it does smell pretty good. It does smell like vanilla, but like, I don't really know if it smells like bourbon. Like, I've never drunk bourbon. But... I didn't really, the scent is okay. It's not like a scent that I would really search for or try to get again. And I did not like this formula at all. It is very, like it just leaves a film on you and it just, it was a mess. It left the tub really awful, like slick everywhere. It was so oily, like, but like a really thick oil that doesn't want to come off, but you didn't feel like you were rinsed clean. It was awful. I didn't like it at all. Um, so it has shea butter, raspberry butter, and aloe in it, as well as vitamin vitamin E extract and avocado oil. I still had like one more use out of it. One, maybe two. I just, I was done. So I'm calling it an empty, but it isn't quite empty, but I would never use it again. And I'm just so glad it's gone. What I ended up doing was using my buff puff to try to like, wipe it off because it felt so like thick and um like it just stuck to your skin and it didn't feel like it was going to breathe well and I didn't want to get that all over my towels which was good because this guy was absolutely destroyed by it it stopped foaming like you'd put body wash on it and it would just kind of like dissolve it did not work as a buff puff anymore so this guy got retired a little earlier than I was planning because of that uh body scrub would not recommend it don't get it it was it was awful here's another scrub that I didn't like 
This is from C.O. Bigelow, and I got this. I mean, I've had this for quite a while. I didn't like it when I first got it, and it's a tropical fruit face scrub, and I didn't like it as a face scrub. So I used it, and part of the problem was the scent. Like, I didn't like the scent back in the day when I first got it, and it just kind of got worse. It, even when I first got it, it kind of reminded me of, like, a fruit, like lots of fruit, but like with, mixed with stomach acid, it kind of smelled a little bit like vomit. I just, I was not a fan. It got worse with age, but I used it on my legs. I used it up and I'm really glad that it, I'm glad that it's gone. Like, cause I wouldn't, I want to recycle the bottle anyway. So I would have to scoop it out and I'd rather it just go down the drain and be used, but it was not good. I would not recommend it. Don't get it. It smelled terrible even when it was brand new. From Alta, this is the strawberry shower jam i really do like these they're kind of messy though because you have to scoop in it did smell like a really nice fresh strawberry well like an artificial fresh strawberry i really like this one i do have a couple more of these that i will be using i found a whole bunch of older body washes though so those are what i'm using next finish one of these guys from dr brandt i love this stuff this is the dr brandt microderm abrasion this is the black one which is anti-aging or age defying exfoliator it's a really really fine scrub and as you can see like i scrape out every little bit from my empties so i really like this one this is one i might pick it up in the also 21 days of beauty which i'm pretty sure it's coming up i'm pretty sure it's one of the things that's going to be in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, that's one that I would definitely consider, like one of the few things that I might get because I don't have a lot of face scrubs right at the moment. From Bath & Body Works, this is just a mini candle. This is the Champagne Toast. And I really tried, like I have so much wax left in here, but it just really hollow, like I don't know, what tunnels, is that what it's called? I'm not a candle person. So, it smells nice. This is champagne toast. I like the smell of it, but this one I've had so much extra wax in it and I even tried to pour it out. So like you can see that I have it on the sides because I was trying to pour it out so that I could make it last longer because the wick was getting kind of buried in it and I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like that version of it because of how it burned. This one also did the same thing. This is an origins candle. Like look at all the wax that I have left in here. And now I have to like break them out. I'm going to put them in the freezer and kind of break them out. But this is the feel good candle from Origins. This is ginger, bergamot, and clove. It smells really good. Like it's a really nice fresh candle and it kind of is a nice pick me up. But again, like I want a candle that's going to burn all the way down. Case in point, my three wick candles from Bath and Body Works. I have a couple of them. This is Cactus Blossom. This one, I don't know. So I'm getting a little less in love with the three wick candles from Bath and Body Works because they started using essential oils. So a lot of the times, like right now, my nose is starting this stuff up because I have so many allergies to essential oils. So probably won't be purchasing any more candles from Bath and Body Works. I mean, you do get them, like this one came in one of their gifts, you know, their big VIP bags or whatever, VIP totes. So I did like this one. This The scent notes are cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, fresh sparkling lemon. I did get really the lemon, like it felt really citrusy more so than any of the other ones, but I don't know what a cactus leaf really smells like to tell you the truth. Then we had iced crayon apple. I like this. This is one of my favorite scents. This is fresh apple, frosted cranberries, sugared raspberry, and creamy musk. It smells really good. And I mean, look at how well that burned down. It's really, when you look at it, it's right down to the very bottom. And I want candles that burn like that. I don't want ones that leave a whole bunch behind. Next up is from Carolina Herrera. This is the Good Girl Body Cream. This was really nice and thick. It smells really good. Like this is not my favorite perfume. Like it's not one that I would reach for really on a regular basis. I love the bottles though. Like that's why I have them. But the lotion, there's just something about the lotion. It's a little lighter and I really liked spreading it all over and putting it on my arms and my legs and everything. 
did like this one. I have another one of them, which I'm kind of excited about to tell you the truth. A, another scrub. This is the St. Ives Apricot Scrub, the invigorating one. I think this is just the original one. There's also the acne one, and I really like the acne one. I use these on my legs. I don't use them on my face because the acne one with the salicylic acid, I feel like really gets when you have the ingrown hairs, it really helps slough off the skin and penetrate those hair shafts so that you don't get as many ingrown hairs. That's that's what I feel like happens anyway. So I do like that. That is something I'll probably purchase again once I'm done with all my body scrubs that I have. From Pantene, this is the Miracle Moisture Boost Shampoo. I just picked up this one. This was the rose one. It does really... It smells like a shampoo rose. It does have a really pleasant scent to it. I did like this one. It is probably one that I would pick up again. I do want to try the conditioner because this is supposed to be a hydration one. And not that my hair is necessarily like thirsty or dry. Like it's pretty, it's, I don't know. It just, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's soft. It doesn't feel like brittle or dry or anything, but I do like experimenting with different types of shampoos and conditioners and kind of seeing how my hair reacts and I always use leave-in as well. So like I like trying those combinations. This one is from Philosophy. I really liked this one at one point. Did not like it as much now. And part of that was it had dried out a little bit. So it was starting, um, it was a little bit thicker than it was. And I feel like maybe the set was a little bit more concentrated. Anyway, it is the Pink Almond Candy Body, what is it? Glazed Body Souffle. They always have interesting names. I felt like it was a little bit overwhelming of a scent, which was fine because I just used it on my feet and I would put socks, slipper socks on before bed. So I did like this, but I didn't like it as much when I, I should have used it all in one go instead of trying to save it. That was my big mistake there. From Tom's of Maine, cinnamon toothpaste. I love this stuff. This is my favorite toothpaste. But my local stores no longer carry this. So I'm testing out some other cinnamon toothpaste that I found at like local, more health food stores. And we'll see. I'm, I, let me know if you want to see a video on like cinnamon toothpaste and different toothpaste and how they are comparing. Because right now I'm struggling a little bit finding a good toothpaste. From White Barn, which is part of Bath and Body Works, this is Frosted Cranberry the gentle gel hand soap. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is one of my favorite scents and I will use this year round. I don't care. I love just, it's a very crisp scent. I love citrus scents too. So like grapefruit or orange, cranberry, they, they're, they're very fresh, refreshing to me. So they're scents that I will use year round. I don't care if they're technically like a Christmas type scent. Finished a moisturizer. This is the Clinique Pep Start. I was so glad to use this up. I used to really like this stuff. It's supposed to be a Hydro Blur moisturizer. I'm not liking it as much as I used to. I still have others of it though, so you will see it again because I have I have years worth of moisturizers at this point. Yeah, unfortunately. <sighs> Product regret. So I have been trying to go through everything and get together cabinets and, you know, find all of the products that may be older that need to be used up. And this guy somehow got lost in everything. And I tried to use it. This is the Derma Ready Intense Dry Skin Therapy Body Lotion from CO Bigelow. This was another one that I got at Bath and Body Works. And um, unfortunately, it's, oh, it's gone off. It is it's not something I would even try to use because it smells so bad. So unfortunately, that is a nice full-size bottle. It's not counting in my empties. Like, I'm not counting it towards my total or anything. I'm disappointed that I get, didn't get a chance to use it. I hate wasting products, so I'm very sad about that. I'm also kind of sad about this one. This is the Burberry Nude Rose Lipstick. I loved this. This is a beautiful color. I... I'm almost done with it. Like I used quite a bit of it, so I'm okay with letting it go. And I'm going to count it as an empty because I've used so much of it, kind of like that Wish one. But this smells so terrible. I couldn't use it on my lips anymore. You know, once they start turning, I'm like, okay, I need to use them up and I try to use them. But sometimes they go just a little too 
much and that it's a no after that. So unfortunately that one is gone too. Another moisturizer. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This was fine. Like I don't really, I'm not a big fan of Kiehl's. I haven't found anything from the brand that I'm like, oh, like, oh my gosh, this is outstanding. This is something I want to use all of the time. Like I found an eye cream I think that I kind of liked, but this was just fine. It's not something I would recommend. It's not something I'm going to go seek out and re rebuy, but it was, it was fine. It worked. I used it on my neck and chest. From Secret, this is the Cocoa Butter Deodorant Antiperspirant. And I'm not going to, let's see, I'm going to turn it upside down. I've been finding that these are really flaking a lot. And it's weird because I can hear them like rattling around. And the one I'm currently using, I can hear it rattling around. And then like little flakes are coming out. So I'm probably not going to buy this type of Secret because they're all the same formula different scents but it smells so good like this is a great scent I really like it it's kind of sweet but it's not overbearing or anything it just it's kind of like a nice pleasant scent I finished one little nose strip this was really cute this is the Rila Kuma and it kind of looked like a little teddy bear nose it was nice it pulled out stuff from my nose acne dots from Peter Thomas Roth these are my favorite acne dots I will continue to purchase those because the other ones just aren't as good. These, case in point, this is the Tony Moly and Tony Moly and Minions acne dots, and these are actually like you see the little hearts. That's what they actually look like. They're actually colored, so they're not ones that you can get away with wearing in public by accident. You have to make sure you get those suckers off. They were also a little thicker, so they didn't always stick quite well. They were fine. I have more packets of them because. Dang, these were much cheaper. This is 20 patches for $2.79. That's what I got them on sale. And these are like $30 for a few packets of these, and there's 12 each. I think it's $72 for 20. So maybe, yeah, that's still the Tony Moly ones are still cheaper. Some J. June under eye masks. These were green tea, and they look all nice and pretty right here. They were like kind of a dark muddy color they weren't nearly as pretty as they look in the package they were fine though they worked well they gave some moisture and would i purchase them no they came in an ipsy box which was fine but th they were fine same with this this is the when glamour base sheet mask this i use because this is like a daytime one that you're supposed to put your ma makeup on afterwards which is great because i was i took a shower and i was like you know what i'm going to use this type of a sheet mask these are the ones that I don't like though, that are like the cellulose. They're not the cloth type masks. So I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like them as well. I'd rather have one that's actual like paper or cotton. Midflower, the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. This is a fine mask too. I don't really know if I, like I feel like a little bit more moisturized, moisturized after I wear it, which is the point, I guess. So this is a good one. It's not one that I would seek out though. It didn't really feel like luxurious or really, it wasn't one that I really wanna go buy. And then final sheet mask is from Lapcos. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the Charcoal Pore Care. I feel like it was a good one as well. There's some sheet masks that I just really love and then there's a whole bunch of them. I'm just like, meh, they're fine. They Nothing special about them. From Tarte, this is the Surfer Curl. It's Tarte C line, and I tried this for a little bit. The I did not like the wand. I felt like the wand was kind of really clumpy, and it didn't, like, it should be more separated than it is, and I found that this, like, flaked on me and smudged really easily, which happens with almost every mascara that I use. So I wasn't really expecting anything. I was kind of expecting that it probably wouldn't work for me, and it didn't. Uh, same with Laura Geller. This one I used a little bit longer. I used this one probably almost a month, and it just got worse and worse and was flaking more and more, and I was like, you know what? Not worth it. I did like the wand. I felt like this one wasn't as weighed down in product as the Surfer Curl. But again, it did not want to stay on my lashes, which that's probably a me problem more so than other people. 
From Too Faced, this is the Translucent Born This Way powder. I actually really like this. I had never tried this before and I liked this packaging because it was really easy to pull out the stopper and get all of the powder out of it, which is not always the case with these. So I might purchase a full size of this once I'm gone through all of the other powders that I have. I shouldn't be surprised that I like this because I really did like the peach powder too, which I think they're discontinuing. There seems to be not a consensus on that. And it looked like they were clearancing out things, but now it looks like they have stuff back in stock, so who knows. From Sunday Riley, this is Good Jeans. This is just the 8 mil. I really like this. This is such a good serum. It really does help. Like when I stop using it, I notice that my skin becomes more reactive and it has more acne problems. And I really should just have this like in my rotation all the time, but I have so many other serums I'm trying to use up too. So I do go back and forth and try to give my skin a break from it, which probably makes it more effective in the long run. From Corez, oh gosh, that is very bl um, blinding. This is the Pomegranate Balancing Gel Cream Gel Moisturizer for oily to combination skin. This was an okay moisturizer. I don't think it was nearly as good as like the Origins Ginseng or the Clinique Moisture Surge, which is my favorite. Those ones I would much rather have than that one. This guy, I'm calling it, I can't really get any more out. It's right at the bottom. This is the Perfect Formula Pink Gel Coat. I really liked this. Like, I feel like it really does a good job on your nails, but it's super expensive. This came in a glossy box that I had. So I'm glad that I got it that way, but I will not be repurchasing it because it's like $30 a bottle. And I have enough nail polishes that I need to use up that are base coats and top coats and everything else. Mario Badescu Anti-Acne Serum. This is my favorite acne serum and I keep repurchasing it. I have not found another one that I like nearly as much as that one. Next up is from Neutrogena. This is the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. This was fine. I didn't feel like it was that great of a cleanser. Like it was fine. That's all I can say about it. There's a lot of things that I feel like if I don't hate them or I don't love them, there's not much to say. I did like this one, but I won't be repurchasing it because it's so expensive. It is from Jo Malone. This is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Cream. Oh my gosh, I like the scent. Like, it's a lovely scent. I don't know if I want this as a perfume. Like, I don't feel like I see myself spraying this type of scent on, but I did like it as like a hand cream. I used it as a hand cream and I really enjoyed it with that, but it's really expensive because Jo Malone is just really expensive. From Yensa, this is the BC foundation. It's like a BB cream and foundation in one. I was not a big fan of it. I love the primer, did not really enjoy that one. So I was glad to have it gone. From Neogen, this is the Real Vita C serum. I did like this one. This is a very liquidy uh, serum though. So it was a little messy, this application. Like I'd rather have it in a pump or something else so that I'm not opening and closing it and trying to pour it into my hand. That was not the most fun. I didn't really like this vitamin C. This is another vitamin C. This is the I Do Care Bright Side Up Brightening Vitamin C Serum. I didn't really feel like this was very effective at all. I felt like the Neogen, I was actually getting a good vitamin C serum. I wouldn't recommend the I Do Care. From Theory, this is a hair oil. This was fine, this is a marula oil. I didn't feel like, it, like it wasn't super thick, so it didn't feel like it was weighing down my hair or making it oily, but I don't really feel like it really felt like it was moisturizing my hair either, which is kind of the fine balance that I want between the two. I'm kind of over the Caudalie you know, Perfect uh, serums. I've had this before and I thought I really liked it at one point, but now I'm kind of like, not really. This is the Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting. I, I don't really feel like it did anything at all. This guy is just dead. This is Back Talk by Urban Decay. It is so dried out. Like, and actually, if you're if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see, like, I can see through it because it's it's just it's gone. I've used it, I used up as much as I could get out. So I really did like this color. It's a really pretty color, actually. Um so that's what it looks like. Ignore the other kind of weird swatches that I have in my hand. I was trying to decide what lipstick to wear today. 
So I did like this. This is a really pretty color. It is one that I might consider purchasing a full size if they still make this by the time I need another liquid lipstick, which is probably going to be like 2025 at this point or later. Who knows? I have an oil. This I did not realize was an oil. This is the Awake, which is a Tarte brand. Power After Hour 2% Retinol Complex, which I thought, oh, a retinol complex. This basically is the Luna Oil, but probably way cheaper than Luna Oil from Sunday Riley. It smells very much the same as that Luna Oil, and it, it worked fine, but I don't really like face oil, so it's not something I would purchase. All right, H2O, this is a lip treatment, Lip Oasis. I'm so glad that this is gone. This took forever. I. I kept waiting and waiting for it to be over and then I cut it open and I got weeks worth afterwards so this little sucker lasted a really long time <clears throat> it was moisturizing like it did its job it was good it was a good for an overnight treatment I think to like I needed it a little thicker so I wouldn't use it as a daytime lip gloss or lip treatment because I feel like you need you need to put a little bit more on so it feels a little weird but for nighttime it was great and then final one is elemis this is the pro collagen oxygenating night cream i do like this i think it's a good night cream it's really expensive though elemis is an expensive brand so probably wouldn't purchase it because of the price point but i do like it that's a lot of empties i will have a total right here because i've already added up how many i finished Plus my sample Saturday, any of those empties that I talk about as empty in my sample Saturday, I'm not gonna like put in month in total monthly end totals because they kind of are their own thing. So I I've I'm on a good start to the year. If you watched my year end empties for like I did a video where I broke down how many I used of everything. If you watch that, you know that I finished 864 products in the year of 2020. And my goal is to finish 750 this year. Not quite as much as last year, but I feel like I got some of the older stuff out last year. So hopefully, um, maybe I'm working on more full sizes. I'm going to, I have a lot of samples that I want to get through too, though. So let me know if you have any goals for the year 2021, how you are all doing. I will have the February empties up in two weeks. I don't want to like do them back to back because that seems ridiculous, but I do have them all ready to go as well. And then it's almost the end of March. So by the time I get those up, it'll be the end of March. So that will be coming up two weeks after that. And then we'll have regular scheduled only once a month empties, but I didn't want to just like leave out a chunk of these. I wanted to talk about them. Let me know if you've tried any good products, what you've tried or what things you have tried that I should avoid. Let me know that down below as well. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.